This is an overview of the client survey systems Javad 2 receiver Triumph 1 package with Carlson Surveyor Plus data collector. The receivers have two buttons. The first button is the power button. The second button is the recording button for, rest for recording static information. Press the power button and you see the lights along the top light up. Each light indicates performance of the receiver. The first is the battery light. The second is your Bluetooth connection. The third is your radio. Four is the number of satellites you're tracking. Five is whether you're fixed or floating or autonomous. And the last light indicates whether or not you are recording static data. The ports along the other side, the first port is used for the power plug. The next two ports are uh, for serial connections. This port is for Ethernet connectivity. And the final port is for USB connectivity. Cables are enclosed for uh, the USB connectivity and serial port as well as the charger. In Carlson Serve CE, to connect to your equipment, first select your receiver type base or rover. The first thing you'll want to do is connect to the base. You'll see that the manufacturer Javad and Triumph 1 are preloaded in there. Communications are Bluetooth. Here you have the base and the serial number uh, which matches on your receiver. Receiver information is where you input the height of your receiver as you measure it. The RTK tab shows the type of communication you have. Here you're using the internal UHF radio. Uh, message type is set at CMR plus. If you ever need to change the settings of the radio, you press this button. Uh, but it, everything other than changing the receiver height, everything else will stay the same. You press the green check mark. And then <clears throat> choose from the following options. Either read an autonomous position, enter a known location, or enter grid system coordinates. Now that we've checked the initial settings inside, we've taken the receivers out and set the base up on a tripod. We've turned on the base receiver. You can see the power lights on and the other lights are initializing. Next we want to turn on our data collector. We're going to create a new job. Press the green check mark. Check that the settings match what you want them to. Uh, the only thing you want to look at is the projection here. We're in Nebraska, so we have Nebraska selected. Then you go to the Equipment tab, select the GPS base. Under the Receiver tab, we're going to type in the measured height to our receiver. The measure point on the receiver is located here, so measure the height to there. We'll input that height. Then we press the green check mark. Here we're just going to read an autonomous position. Average 10 shots. We're not going to do a base ID, but we are going to save. settings, press the green check mark. Now we're ready to move to our rover. 
Before you leave the base station, you want to verify that the radio light is on. Uh, when it's green, that means that it's broadcasting the base's position over the UHF radio. Now we come to the rover. We've got the rover on already. So down to our data collector. We're going to hit the GPS rover tab. We're going to input the height of our receiver. We've got a two meter pole, so the two meters are still in there. We're going to press the green check mark. And that's all you need to do to connect. If you look up at your rover, you see that we've got the radio signal coming in here. The satellites and the green light here on the end means that you're fixed. So you're ready to continue with your survey. From the monitor sky plot tab, you can find your reference point. And here's where you can store the information for your base if you need to capture the coordinate for your base. So you input the information here that you want. Press the green check mark. From the monitor skyplot tab, you can also check the status of your connection. Here we're fixed. Our latency is 1, which is where we need it to be. And now you're ready to begin surveying. Additional instructions on surveying can be found in the Serve CE manual.